What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we got to talk about why Bianca Belair is trending right now. So apparently, WWE Games dropped on their Instagram page a picture of Cody, Rhea, and Bianca to uh, promote the WWE 2K24 uh game and the different uh versions they have have um each of these wrestlers on each version and of course when they posted this there was a lot of racially motivated comments uh under the post and a lot of people have come to defend her and show her love and that's why she's trending right now the hashtag uh we love you bianca is trending as well and uh, i wanted to talk about this and, and kind of give my thoughts and opinions on this so this is the actual um the post and um the some of the comments they had screenshotted from the initial post wwe games posted this 22 hours ago and as you imagine um the comment section uh, was targeting bianca with hate comments with some being racially motivated so this is the picture um that they posted on a wwe games uh instagram page and this are these are some of the comments bianca doesn't belong but guess you gotta have black um someone responding he's clearly racist as fuck the white folks uh want to be us so bad and someone else commented uh commented the two on on the left yes bianca absolutely not and then someone commented under that this got to be racist now that last comment to someone saying this got to be racist i wouldn't go that far granted this person may not just like bianca like that but the top comment for sure there's no denying that bianca doesn't belong but guess gotta have gotta have a black that's that's unnecessary it's unnecessary as hell definitely racist as hell and it's 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 not cool but uh her peers some of her peers came out to support her and uh show her some love let's go to this real quick these are what some of her wrestling peers had to say this is from Big E. um the black uh the black women in this industry face a regular barrage of racism and misogyny uh from fans and have for uh and have for uh far too long you cannot diminish the light you cannot erase their contributions to uh this industry um Zelina has something to say as well Bianca is one of the best in the business and world has ever seen when I think of a hard worker standout path paver uh path paver and someone who is genuinely a proud representation of her culture it's Bianca she deserves everything she's gotten and more she earned the name EST the fans that took part in the blatant disrespect and hate towards her and other black men and women should be ashamed and embarrassed. It's disgusting, but your hate will never, uh, ever dim their shine. We love you, B. You continue to be an inspiration to all of us. And then even uh, Ivy Nile said something at Bianca Belair is uh, everything I strive to be in WWE. All three are the hardest working and influential pe people in my life and i'm so grateful to know all of them much love b hashtag tennessee strong and as you can see there was a lot of overwhelming support and love for bianca which she deserves man honestly i'm 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 glad that the comments were seen you know and i and i actually went to the instagram uh post and as you scroll through you can definitely see some some racially motivated uh comments and then you can just see a lot of comments of people that don't feel like bianca should be there even though her accolades speak for themselves people that just don't like bianca and then you see some people are supporting but there are some some racially motivated comments in there and the thing that i always find funny is people try to act all oblivious to blatant racism and it is one of those things where it's like well you clearly see it and they're not even joking about it or being ha ha funny. You know, you clearly see the stuff and people try to ignore it and act like it's not a thing. And people will just want to pull out the race card when in actuality, it is a thing. It is. Racism has been prevalent in wrestling for a very long time. And obviously it's gotten way much better, but you see it. Now you have every right to not like Bianca. I will never tell anyone that's black, white, whatever. You have 
all the right in the world to like her, not like her, boo her, whatever it is. But you can't deny that she's really good in the ring. She's one of the best women's wrestlers in the ring. And if she wasn't over, no one would care. No one would have had that reaction when Bianca and Jade stood in the middle of that ring at this year's Royal Rumble and you had that standing ovation and they didn't even throw a single punch. If she wasn't over, no one would care. WWE is not going to put her, WWE games, and WWE is not going to put her on one of the covers of the games if she's not over. People love her. You can, you can disagree, that's fine. But the racist comments, that's kind of wild. But like I said, it's a blessing in disguise because guess what? She's trending night right now. We love Bianca. We love you. Bianca is trending right now because of the hate. You know, and that that's the, the cool thing about this. Because of the hate that people are showing, she's trending right now. And the we love you, Bianca, that's a thing right now. That's cool. People are talking about, you know, listing off her accolades and, and what she's done so far in the company. Like, that's truly fantastic. In fact, let me pull this tweet up for y'all just so y'all can see this. So I saw this on my timeline and I was trying to figure out what was going on. Look at this tweet. Bianca Belair undefeated at WrestleMania. She's 3-0, former three-time women's uh three-time WWE women's champion, 2021 Royal Rumble winner, ESPN female wrestler of the year in 2022, longest WWE Raw women's champion in history, longest women's reign, uh longest women's reign of the modern era, 420 days WrestleMania main eventer. These are just some of her accolades. So she deserves to be on the cover. She deserves that from what she's done for the company and the work that she's put in. She's a really good wrestler. She's one of the top women wrestlers in the company. Whether she has, whether she has a championship or not, you know, you, you can like her or not, the racially motivated com comments, it's unnecessary, but it's going to happen. It's one of those things. It's going to happen. It's part of just the world we live in and people having access to social media. But the great thing about this is when people see this, they come together and not just black people, people of all different races and colors and walks of life coming together. And I'm just seeing the feed of people showing love to Bianca, getting that we love you, Bianca trending. That's awesome. That's beautiful. You know, that's what I like to see. You feel me? So you're entitled to your opinion, as always. But at the end of the day, you know, sometimes saying those racist things, you know, all only all it does is it puts a, a flashlight on who you are, a spotlight on who you are. And I love to see the love and support from her wrestling peers, people that she worked with, and the fans, the real fans that want to show love. And, you know, and those who don't like her just, you know, for whatever reason, that's fine. You have that option too. But to see this, that's pretty cool. So I didn't know why she was trending until I looked into it and, and seen. And it's crazy. The hate turned into overwhelming love. And that's what we need more of, man. So comment down below. Let me know. Are you a fan of Bianca? Why or why not? If you're not a fan of Bianca, this is a safe place. You can list why you're not a fan of her. If it's on some racist shit, then go ahead and get the hell up out of here. We don't need none of that. But if you have legitimate critiques on why you're not a fan of her, let me know down below. We can have this discussion. And if you are a fan of her, what's your favorite match from Bianca Belair so far in her career? But I appreciate all the love and support you guys shown on the channel. Road to 150K. And I'm still the YouTube wrestling champ of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See you on the next one. Peace.